One of the most exciting things about this book is to hear people's personal reflections on how important the art was that's in their heritage, that came from the past, the lessons that they've learned, but how they're putting that into play today. And to see when Lisa Telford looks at old moccasins but then decides she's going to weave a pair of high heels, or when uh, Evelyn Vanderhoop is reading the old texts and hearing about um, warriors' wives making spirit belts for their husbands, and but to make a new spirit belt with those same uh, faces in it that can be in the collection for today. And, and just to see that it's always this ongoing process, that the art's always talking about what's important now, um, and that that is a result of all the history that comes before us. Well, we collect contemporary art at the Burke Museum because uh, it's part of the ongoing culture of Native people. Um, it's the artists who were able to keep essential parts of the culture alive when it was under stress from outside influences, when um, uh, people were being punished for speaking their language and uh, practicing their cultural religious practices. So artists are that unbroken link with the cultures of the 19th century. So Sean Peterson's piece shows the thinking that he's been doing about Coast Salish art and explains the, the essential pieces of it, the circle, the oval, the trigon, the crescent, um, how they work together, how that system is related to but distinct from the northern style. And I think his essay is really going to be a very important one for understanding how it works and also understanding the history of how coast, contemporary Coast Salish artists have come to be where they are at this point in time. The indigenous cultures on the coast are so active and vibrant uh, in, the, in the art they produce that um, it's part of our mission to, to represent those cultures and to preserve them for future generations. So it's, it's, uh, it's a constantly expanding collection that uh, is focused on the, the best work that's being done today.